I, uh, most of my videos are aimed at people that understand how to fix cars, maybe they're professionals. Today I'm going to do a video which will just show you a nice easy one that is aimed at the car owner if you're servicing your car yourself. Um, it's on the new Volkswagen Beetle and it's the rigmarole you have to go through to change the pollen filter. So I've done it already just to simplify it. Get yourself a little plastic trim tool, edge it in there, push this panel forward on the top of the dash. Undo a couple of screws at the front, a couple of torques, lift this one off, off its little spring clips, pull that one out. On the top here you've got a panel held in by six screws. They're of two different lengths, so make sure you remember where those screws came from. You undo those screws, give this a lift, you'll find that some of the little tabs stick underneath the dash, don't worry, it's quite flexible plastic. Just pull it up, slide it out, and there's your cabin filter. And then you just release it by pulling back the tab here, tab over here, in the end of my finger. Just release it, then lift your cabin filter out, slot your new one in. Good tip is though, before you do that, look at all those leaves there. And there's leaves down in that corner. Good tip. Get yourself a hoover and hoover out all those leaves before you take the pollen filter out. Otherwise they can drop into the fan and then you end up with noises coming from the fan because you've got leaves in there. Hoover all those out. Good idea to get rid of them anyway because you get damp in there. It can cause problems with the connections to the ECU. Get rid of those leaves before you pull your pollen filter out and then just do the operation back in reverse. Job done. 